Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be participating in my first ever game jam, Ludum Dare 52. Um, uh, who, who's this guy? H hello? Re-leveling up. High quality starts now. No more of that cardboard car. Forget that last video ever happened. Hey, today we're going to be taking a look at a game I made in under 48 hours for Ludum Dare 52. One of the largest game jams in the world. The only issue is, I have no experience making a game with a strict time limit. This is my first ever game jam. Quick introduction to Ludum Dare 52. It's one of the largest online game jams in the world and has been running for over 20 years. And before this one has had, I want to say... Oh, oh, give me a second here. Carry the one. Uh, I'm gonna say 37 jams. Normally you'd get 72 hours to create and submit a game, but unfortunately, unlike you lot, I have responsibilities. So I missed the first day. But no need to fear, 48 hours is enough for me. Now each jam has a theme that you need to keep your game somewhat close to. The theme for this jam was Harvest. Not the greatest theme of all time, but it was something simple to work from. Now I wasn't going to create no farm simulator RPG, but I decided to create a mining game. Before you say mining has nothing to do with the theme Harvest, here's the official definition. I decided to create an Escape from Tarkov type game, where you enter a spooky cave and have to harvest as many ores as possible and escape the cave before being eaten. No, harvested by zombies. Look at me go, just give me five stars for theme already. I created the project in Unity and a Trello board to keep track of what needed to be done. The game wasn't going to have a lot of art, so I decided to create the sprites real quick first. I imported them into Unity and started on the movement script. I also made the character turn towards the cursor. Pretty cool, eh? Then using the tiles I made, I created a little test map so the character could run around it. Now, caves are normally dark, so I can't have it looking like this. Luckily, I have a trick up my metaphorical sleeve. Unity's 2D lighting system. Watch this. Boom. Damn, feeling like a real game already. And it's only been... Nine... Nine hours. What the hell have I been doing? To end the day, I added a little zombie I created and made him follow the player with some A-star pathfinding. I also added the different ores the player can harvest. Each rock has a different amount of hits it needs to break. The more hits, the more coins. It was then time to sleep. After a good eight hours, I awoke and came to the realization that there was still a whole lot to do. All the UI, including a menu, start screen, pause screen, tutorial, death screen, and windscreen. I also needed to add sound effects and create a larger, more thought out map, and also add general polish. I started with the sound effects as I thought it would make or break the game, and I'm happy to say it made the game. Sound effects turned it from a casual mining game into a full out horror. I'll shut up for a second, just. Just watch, and more importantly, listen to this. Don't ask how I didn't see that zombie, but spooky, right? The next thing I worked on was all the menus. Now, sorry to all the UI lovers, but creating it has to be the most boring thing about game development. So I won't make you watch me place a few buttons, but here's what it looks like. There's a quick tutorial, and when you die, this pops up, and this screen tells you your previous and high score. The player can now escape from these exits, and this screen is shown when you do. Last thing I did was remake the map with multiple exits, and place all the ore and zombie spawns around. I also remade the menu, and made the title and character bob up and down, a nice little sine wave, a bit more polishing later and it was done. I uploaded it to itch and submitted the game with a few hours to spare, and now it's time to play and rate a few games and wait for the results.
The results were announced two weeks later, and I ended up coming 252nd. Not too bad for my first jam, also considering over a thousand games were submitted. But there's more than one category, my friend. 13th for Moot. Let's go. Pretty good experience all around. If you want to play the game, there's a link in the description. I bet you won't be able to get over 100. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.